Well, it finally happened. I ran out of ideas for the show just a little while ago, and Meredith said, what you, tell, tell the people what you said, Meredith. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Yes, it is the cooler of doom. I, I, I sense that. What's in the cooler of doom, Meredith? Just lovely things I've been picking up along the way. Things for the day that you run out of ideas. There's a bunch of ingredients in the Cooler of Doom, and I'm trapped in this episode until I satisfy my tormentor, Meredith, with a cocktail. Fuck! Jesus! Oh, there is something in here. What in the hell? What the fuck? Friday's orange dream ready to serve vodka thing. This is where this begins. I've never seen this in my life, Meredith. This is Friday's authentic bar collection, ultimate orange dream. Simply pour over ice and enjoy. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to accept all of this. Oh, oh God, Jesus. <laughs> Nothing I love more than orange syrup. <laughs> There's a whole lot in that bottle too. I would have to say that at the old Friday's bottling plant, that's an ambitious move. You know what? They're gonna want a lot of this. Once people crack into this sucker, they're gonna want some, you know? Not a little six pack, not a little taste. Nope, what is that, a gallon? It's meant to be just drunk straight. Is that what, is it's that? on ice. On ice. <laughs> 1.75 liters of orange dream on ice. That is the stuff of nightmares. All right, let's see if the Cooler of Doom offers up us anything we can tolerate. Mmm! That is a lot worse than I was prepared. I was not prepared for that. An orange nightmare. That is like drinking sweaty butter. <laughs> <laughs> what? What in the fuck? <laughs> Holy jeebus. It is so custardy and creamy, and it is very sweet in the aftermath. But that first sip was, I have to go back and like, maybe it was just, it went in weird or something like, I don't know. Holy fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. There's a very, there's a kind of a demonic plasticky note at the front there that sort of reads like acrid uh, BO. Have you ever had a butter flavored Jelly Belly? Mayhaps. Is it like that? No. No. It's buttery in its texture. It does give way to sweet orange creaminess, but it opens up with just this like armpit spice is the word I would use. Like, yeah, bad smell, bad smell. Like I've been working all day smells and it's thick and slick and creamy. Because of the texture and the color and that taste, sometimes too, your brain says, am I drinking paint? It does kind of give that vibe as well. Oh my fucking God, Meredith. Wow, this is very bad. It's 25 proof. It's 12% alcohol. I mean, I have to say though, I don't hate like creamsicle where it goes. Like creamsicle is a good flavor. That's what I would have thought that this was trying to be a creamsicle. Yeah, you wanna try some? I brought it to the lab. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna put all the ingredients back here. Uh, we'll consider these ingredients that I may have to use later. I'm not sure. You get that sweat, body sweat note? You don't get it as much if you don't smell while you taste, mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, better. You gotta do the vapor lock. Wow. I'm like very phlegmed up now too, because that was some thick gelatinous. Yeah, that was a tough one to start with. Can I make a drink with that? I think we gotta think about that. We gotta think about these things as ingredients, right? That's part of our goal with this Cooler of Doom. If this is all I had, I would shake it with ice and thin it out some. I think that would probably help it. If I have things I'm allowed to mix with it, I don't know yet. Uh, lengthen it with seltzer, anything to long this out. It'll be better if it's shook, it'll be aerated, it'll be lighter, frothier. All right, let's see what's next from this Cooler of Doom. Of old smoky Tennessee moonshine pickles. These pickles are 20% alcohol by volume. Moonshine pickles. Shine pickles. Oh man, I don't know about that. These really appealed to me because I, I like pickles and that one time we tried moonshine, I really liked that too. It's never occurred to me to soak a pickle in moonshine. I don't know what to expect here. It just smells like a pickle, actually. Okay. There, you could, yeah, there's something in there. You could taste a little bit of alcohol, but these are fucking very dangerous. Because if this is something that's actually delivering alcohol into my mouth and more than just a taste, I would eat this whole jar of pickles. That's like not, that's scary. It's the pickle juice that's probably really. That's the juice. 
So the pickles are probably pretty safe. You probably could eat all the jar of pickles. Well, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. Ooh, okay, there's a the shine. I have a funny feeling that when you, um, you're planning to make pickles with it, you don't use the good stuff. <laughs> Got a little burnt tasting there, a little weird. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, never mind. This says don't store them in direct sunlight, I guess, or else they'll turn into mogwais or something. That tastes like a burnt pickle. I didn't know you could burn a pickle, but it tastes like a pickle that's been on the grill too long and blackened up. But not like, ooh, put a little char on it, but like wrecked, ruined on the grill. <laughs> I'm not into that. Um, it's an interesting thought though, for people who like pickle juice in their drinks or like, like picklebacks, that you have a pickle juice here that's full of booze. Picklebacks with moonshine pickle juice. That'll put you down real fast. Yeah, that's a double whammy there. Yeah. You want, you want to try one of these booze pickles? I want you to try some of the pickled juice. Oh, God. No! You should have come up with an idea for the episode then. That's not fair. You can make like a dirty martini with this. Probably be delicious. Well, first off, a dirty martini gets olive brine, not pickled brine. It's briny. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I can't stand a dirty martini, I know. though, as we've well established on I, the show. I feel like this might be my, my type of thing. Why don't you just come over here and film this? I'm taking a break. You can put out two glasses. Oh, good. Okay, sure. I thought I was sick last night after filming. <laughs> eh. Ooh, All that right. stuff floating in it. Delicious. Well, yeah, those are the seeds. Good Lord. That's not bad at all. Fuck you. I don't like that. It is so salty. It's so salty. It's very salty. Oh, man. It really, that just tastes like drinking seawater. Every part of my body is like, poison, don't do that. That's how you die. <laughs> You're going to die of thirst, Greg. Stop drinking seawater. All right, well, that's the first two. Let's move this... <laughs> fucking shit show right along. What is this? A bottle of Skinny Girl Margarita. <laughs> Made with blue agave, silver tequila, triple sec, natural flavors, and caramel color. I don't know that I've ever had this. This is natural flavors, open and serve. Everyone loves the margaritas, but no one wants the guilt of the calories. That's why we created the Skinny Girl Margarita. The margarita you can trust. Bethany Frankel's <laughs> best offering. You can trust it? <laughs> like with what? My bank account? Like, I don't understand. I don't look for trust from my margarita. Um, I'm not so sure that I need to be body shamed from my bottled cocktails. Well, it shouldn't surprise you that this is a product of the Real Housewives of New York. Okay, here we go. We'll do it in the big fancy margarita. <laughs> I thought Bethany Frankel was New Jersey. I think she was New York, but she is like the housewife that like, you know, went off and took the fame and was like, oh, I will own many businesses and make m mucho dinero. And she Be did. Bethany Frankel left her mark on the world. Here it is. The skinny girl, Bethany Frankel Margariti. Bloop, 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 bloop. I do feel like a skinny girl and uh, let's try this skinny girl margarita. It really just tastes like triple sec. It doesn't really taste like anything else. I mean, you know how like Diet Coke tastes? This is like the Diet Margarita. I think that's what it's trying that's to be. That's what it is. You know, like, I mean, a good a margarita can be a nice thing. This one kind of sucks. It just kind of reflects back at me everything that's wrong with me and makes me feel like a worse person uh, when I drink it. Like it's a gnawing void at the center of the universe in my soul. Yeah, there's nothing in there. It's just real empty and sad and um, begging for attention. Yeah, it just tastes like watered down, triple sec. I think that they've attempted to like inject some salt to it too as well. Always a mistake. I don't like when they do that. Just let me control that. Yep. I not, non-ironically drank these in college. When was the last time you had this? Well, it's better than I was like remembering actually. If you didn't keep constantly drinking it, you just tasted chemicals in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you actively sipping. <laughs> oh man, that's a, that's a fucked up review. <laughs> Skinny Girl Margarita, the margarita that insists you drink it all. I would say 23, 24 is maybe the, the most recent that I've had. Something okay, like. so it's a bit a minute. Yeah. Okay, well, that was uninspiring. Let's find out what <laughs> the cooler offers me next on this trip into oblivion. <sighs> Whew. Oh, hello there. As you can probably tell, I'm on vacation. But my good friends at Magic Spoon decided to sponsor this episode and asked me to talk to you a little bit about Magic Spoon. But I'm on vacation. Since that sounds like work, I'm just going to use the audio from another time I talked to you about Magic Spoon while I sit here and enjoy this bowl. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar and 13 to 14 grams of protein and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. That's true. They're only 140 calories per serving. They are also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. 
I've been standing here eating this cereal, making you very jealous, I am sure. So why don't you click the link below and get your own magic spoon? You can build your very own variety box and use my code, which is appearing on screen right before your very eyes, for $5 off. And you can choose from the best selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry muffin, and cinnamon roll. But wait! Magic Spoon is now adding Honey Nut to their permanent collection, so be sure to add Honey Nut to your custom box and try it out. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they're gonna refund your money without any questions. If you happen to be a Canadian or a British fan of the show, hello, no. thank you very much. Uh, but Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the United States. Oh, that's great. That's magic. That's magic. <laughs> All right, well, now back to your regularly scheduled HTD. Thanks. Uh, what's up next here? Here we go. Let's see. That's weird. This is truly lemonade freeze pops. Hey, baby, what? These are huge right now. They are? They're everywhere. Everyone's coming out with a freeze pop. It isn't just a truly lemonade freeze pop. It's a truly lemonade hard seltzer freeze pop. How do you freeze seltzer? What is that even? Is this still bubbly? Like, I don't even understand. I don't know. Uh, I saw that TikTok where you're supposed to snap them in half. You ever see that? No. Supposedly there's a person on TikTok who says, you, you're doing it wrong. You just snap them in half. You just snap them in half. You don't. It, it doesn't work. It was a fake thing, apparently. Like, people have tried to reproduce it and they figured out that this person's a liar. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just squish. <laughs> this actually tastes pretty good. It's a lot better than their mango, like, lemonade. It's got sugar in it. It's their lemonade, not their seltzer. Yeah. Right. That's also, Well, it is their seltzer. Where does it say seltzer? Right here. Hard seltzer. Wow. Yeah, that's how you can understand. Like, it doesn't say it even on the box, which makes sense, because, like, truly hard seltzer is a brand. No, it's identifying it as frozen hard seltzer. I don't understand that. I feel like if I took seltzer and I froze it, it would cease to be seltzer. I would finish this. What a dangerous thing because this doesn't taste like alcohol at all. It's 5%, I would do this in a second. If you have kids in the house, you probably shouldn't have these in the house because. True. But no joke, these are like, every company is coming up with their own. It must be really cheap to make for some reason, like the excise tax on them or something. Yeah, sure. And it's like one of those things where they're like, well, let's see if the market wants this, you know? Yeah, everyone's gonna buy them once. Or not, you know, this is strawberry. The mango tasted like a mango freezy ice. So it's kind of what I wanted, right? I don't like the strawberry, but I might just not like strawberry ices and stuff. It's okay. It tastes vaguely like a strawberry. I don't know. Do you think each of those is like drinking a truly or much They're five percent, so yeah, it's the same. Well, oh, but what's the volume of them? Yeah, That's volume. a good point. It's 100 milliliters, like a little bit more than three ounces though. So no, each one of these uh, is a lot less than a whole truly. There's not a lot of drinks in here. That's probably why. What do they sell a box of these for? Because like there's basically probably like two cans of lemon and of seltzer in here, you know? <laughs> what? The lemon is tasty. Wow. Here, I'll have my own. It's funny, I was worried about the danger of these at first, but like honestly, there's really not that much alcohol in them. Do you like the flavor of Truly? You will not be disappointed. I think yeah. it's like, like a freezy pot. Well, it does, but like there's like a distinct seltzer brand flavor. It's hot in here. I'll enjoy this. <laughs> it is very hot. Actually, that's a good point. I do feel better since I've had one. Effective cooling for the heat, that's for sure. Maybe we just keep these around the set because we kept to shoot, you know. The... <laughs> we both, I've come around on <laughs> truly lemonade freeze pops. They're a great idea. Uh, mango was my favorite, strawberry least favorite. Lemonade and mango are tied. It doesn't matter that they come in this package. There's 12. Yeah, I'm not really sure who it is that buys it. That's a fair question. <laughs> if I had a pool at a house, yep. I would keep these in a freezer, I think. Yeah. I'm sold. You're I'm kind of sold? Yeah, I'm a little sold. Once more into the breach, I must venture into the cooler of doom. <laughs> what do we got in here? Okay, this is, oh God, buzz balls with a Z. Lime Rita chiller. I think there's a couple more in there. Pineapple Colada chiller. <laughs> strawberry Rita. That just says Rita, it doesn't say margarine, it says strawberry Rita. And Choco chiller. Um, well, this may be the lowest moment of my life. I'm not. Could be. Where do you, should we start with? Which one do you start with? Start with the just regular read, like the the lime one. That's lime Rita one. Chiller. Did you read the description of this? No. This is orange wine, like wine made from oranges, some prison hooch, with lime and lemon juices. Was it made in the toilet? Orange wine is like a whole thing now. They make wine Delicious. from oranges. It's. I don't know if it's from oranges, but it's orange wine. Uh, I'm curious if the green is 
faked by the bottle or if the liquid is actually that great. The secret of the ooze. No. Well, okay, it's a little less green, you're right. But when you look down in it, it is that color. Fair question. Okay, here we go, this stuff. It's better than the skinny girl. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, hang on there. There's a weird aftertaste. Yeah, it takes a turn for the worse, but it starts out better than the skinny girl. It's 15% alcohol. I do kind of feel like I'm breaking out into a hot sweat here. I like that it says, have a ball on the side of it. It's really like, it's the flavor of very cheap bargain basement, like triple sec or something. I hate saying chemical flavor because like what is chemical flavor? But like it reminds me of smelling the degassing vapors from some plastic or rubber toy from the 80s. It reminds me of drinking well water from the backyard hose. There's just something not right. Something a little bit unfit for consumption. I'm not saying it is unfit for consumption. I'm sure it's fine, but there's something in there I'm not into. This is another orange wine with natural flavors. Oh yeah. Oh. Buzz Ball Strawberry Rita. Down the hatch. That's hideous. Oh, wow. That is. <clears throat> <sighs> Very medicine-y tasting. Extremely cough syrupy. The smell of my kid's infant Tylenol. That is what that tastes like. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. It kind of, I don't know why. Oh, yep, that's what it is. Flashing back to like the one time when I was a kid and they took us to Ringling Brothers Circus. And I got a flashlight that had a tiger on it with a mirror. And when you swung it, it spun the mirror around the flashlight so that it would reflect everywhere. Anyway, I think we got a snow cone. I was never a snow cone kid. This tastes like the weird snow cone syrup that was in that disgusting circus snow cone with Vicks Vapor Rub. Because maybe I was sick at the time. I was a child. The yeah, frequent conclusion on the show is that strawberry flavor is a bad sign. It's very hard because the thing is that strawberries taste nothing like strawberry flavor. Like strawberry flavor is just a made up thing from a laboratory, like cherry flavor. It's not a thing you can even get right. You know, like you're aiming for an invented target with your flavor profile with that. Like you can't ever compare it to like the real thing and be like, we got it boss. Like it's so subjective and also so limited by the chemistry involved. And it winds up tasting like something to me that like you would add to a swimming pool or something to clean it. It's bad, man, that's not good. All right, which one do you like better? The Choco or the pineapple colada? My guess is the Choco will taste better. The pineapple's not gonna taste very good. Then I'll start with this. Uh, what's your favorite good humor ice cream? I don't know if I have. Trick questions. Choco taco. There's no question. It's the choco taco. Well, what else is there? I don't know, like toasted almond thing. Oh uh, yeah, those balls. Is this orange wine? Orange wine. Really? Yep. They're all orange wine. It's made from spirits of orange. It's orange wine with cream and natural flavors. Well, that tastes like a yuho. Nothing. It just tastes like a yuho. Yuho is nice once in a while. It's hard to argue with that. I never want it. But it is what it says. From like a standpoint of like, well, it says it's Choco Cooler. How does it taste? It tastes like a Choco Cooler. Not really any off notes in there, to be honest. So, points for Meredith. She was correct. This is the Pineapple Kalida. Mmm, yum yum. Here we go. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh boy, that's a rough one, man. That's. Mm. I quit. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's, no, it's, oh, wow. How do I put it into the words? So one is not good. It has a tanginess to it that I think they're trying to make pineapple, but nope, doesn't get there. Um, sort of a metallic tang with some kind of suntan lotion flavor that sometimes on the aftertaste sort of resembles the coconut from like an Almond Joy like a candy coconut. It does say there's real coconut, pineapple, and lime juice is the natural flavors. I don't know. I don't know how much of that is. I think a lot of it's the natural flavors. Also says orange wine. There's a, uh, maybe that's what the tang is, the orange wine. It lulls you into a false sense of security. There's like a, a tick there at the beginning where you're like, oh, okay, I mean, I can see where this is going. This isn't gonna be that bad. And then it just like drops you off a cliff and it, head straight into something funk, funkity, funkadoo. I don't, what is that? Oh, wait a second, hold on a second. I think maybe. Uh, sour milk. Yeah, that is just not good. I feel kind of violated by this, I don't. I'm gonna, I'll be right back with another pull from the cooler of doom right after this. Once more, 
into the abyss. We venture to find, what is this? A pair of Smirnoff ices. I, you know, I've never had these. Do you ever have a Smirnoff ice? I haven't. No, this is the first time. Are you for excited? Me. No. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Woo! Here we go. Smirnoff ice. Ugh! Man, let's uh, try these suckers. Blue is a limited edition. Blue raspberry, cherry, and citrus. Blue raspberry, of course, is a made up flavor, not a real flavor. There's no blue raspberries in nature. It's called red, white, and berry. It's a very patriotic Smirnoff ice. And actually, I should probably say something about that too, right? Like Smirnoff Company, I feel like they're getting a lot of bad press for being Russian. They're not They're not Russian, right? Are they? I'll look up, but I don't think so. I won't drink it if it's Putin juice, Meredith. Tell me if it is. Vladimir Smirnoff, who fled from Russia during the country's revolution, but it's owned by a British company. All right. It's made in the nice. US, Canada, and many other countries, but not Russia. Good old British American know-how on the Lend-Lease program. We're gonna drink a Smirnoff ice. Here we go. <laughs> what is it to say? It's not tremendously overly sweet, but it's pretty sweet. If you wanted a 11 ounce, four and a half percent alcohol by volume blue raspberry drink, it is one of them. There's nothing else to say. I, I, I can't tease it out, but if I have to, I think grape is probably a major flavor component of this. Now that I think about it, I never really put that two and two together, like white grapes. Yeah, so it tastes like grape juice. It tastes like uh, alcoholic fizzy grape juice. And this flavor is green. This is green apple Smirnoff ice, premium malt beverage with natural flavors and artificial 11 ounces. Ooh. I mean, it really does taste like a green apple, to be honest. That's like quite accurate. That first reaction was, oh, this is gonna be very sweet. You know, I was like bracing myself, but actually it tastes like an apple. It tastes like apple pucker. I did an episode like a year and a half ago, two years ago, where I made my own green apple pucker. I, that stuff was really good. I could probably even do it better now with some malic acid. I didn't have malic acid at the time. Check that out in the pink comment below. But, you know, volume of 11 all the way up the scale apple. But then you say, but what does an apple taste like? I don't know, man. Go eat an apple. How am I going to break an apple down for you? Malic acid, citric acid, sweetness. But this stuff is uh, green apple juice and it does actually taste like green apple. This does actually taste like blue raspberry, but blue raspberry doesn't exist. So it really actually tastes like grapes. You wanna try it? I'm telling you, grape. Yeah, a little Welch's -y. Yeah, right, yeah, it tastes like grape juice. If you're in the mood for it, cinnamon. That you get cinnamon? No, no, no. But you put the shot of fireball. Oh, in there. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like that. That seems like a very midwestern thing. That does do. seem like. Yeah, they, sometimes the Midwest is right. Yeah, that's a great idea. You do, you do like, that in a cider sometimes. Okay. The Red's apple cider. You put a shot of fireball in it. Huh? What's in the box? Oh, that's a good one. What is in there? It's weird. A lot of cardboard. What is this? Mary, they've seen these and you were curious about them? <laughs> and we got a whole Miami Vice theme going on for a second. So this is apparently a box of shooters of Miami Vice and sex on the beach. Great, what is this? Twisted shots, 20% alcohol by volume, banana and pear liqueur. I think it's two separate shots stored side by side and then you pop it open and you do it. Whoa, that is something. What, man, I'm trying to figure out what's the right way to put your mouth on this because the shape is confusing. <laughs> You're definitely supposed to mix it in your mouth. And you know what? Buy these and keep them for when you're gonna do cement mixers. Put your lemon juice on one side and your Bailey's on the other. You want one? I'm curious. But you bought so so many. I guess, yeah, when you don't come up with an idea, I get punished as well. This doesn't dignify a cheers. Oh shit, that smells bad. Yeah. <laughs> that smells medicinal. Fuck no. Could be worse. I expected worse. It's kind of like uh, chocolate bananas. Miami Vice. Looks very similar. Yeah, well, that, that took a weird turn there. Strawberry, this one's gonna be bad. So a Miami Vice is a drink. It is a strawberry daiquiri poured alongside a pina colada. So maybe this will be that. This is my job. Oh, fuck no, man. Ah, it's bad. Oh, fuck. I think Maris spit hers out. No. Does that have an anisette quality? To yeah, it does. Yeah. It has a perceived anisette that shows up, not on purpose. I think it's a combination of flavors. Or like a white chocolate can kind of have that vibe. White chocolate anisette, just what you want. White wanted. chocolate anisette wrapped around a chocolate thing with the cherry and the juice in it, the cherry cordial. That's what that is. A white chocolate fennel cherry cordial. That's weird. It's kind of nougaty. 
We're taking a water break. Let's find out who today's water break is sponsored by right after this. Okay, we're back. Water break's wrapping up. All right, kids, what's next out of my box? You're gonna suffer. Like I'm about to with this plastic hip flask of Boyd and Blair Craft Cocktails Vodka with lavender and lavender and lemon. This is a lavender martini. Shake well and serve over ice. Here comes the ice. Put the shaky bottle of lavender, vodka, lemon, martini onto the ice. There it is. The bottle of lavender, lemon, martini. I think I just drank soap. That really sets the hairs on end. It's a real departure from everything else we've had because it's very low sweetness, although it's still sweet. I like can't take a big sip. I'm just doing tiny little kisses on my lips. I usually like to fill my mouth for tasting and swirl it around. I can't. Yeah, okay, I buy it. It's a lavender lemon martini. If it was less sweet, it wouldn't really read as lavender or lemon. It would not be pleasant. So it's allowed to be that sweet. It is soapy. Like lavender lemon really tastes like soap or something that you put in as an air freshener. I'm not into it much. It's soapy. Do you like lavender, Meredith? I've recently discovered not as a flavor, but as a smell. You know, I like lavender as a smell. I like lavender on a soap. I don't like it here. Yeah. Definitely tastes like something you clean the floors with. Here comes Meredith to try the lavender lemon vodka martini. And does she like it? Does she like it? Does she like it? She does not like it at all. <laughs> if I cleaned my bathroom and it smelled like that tastes Fine. Thrilling. Great. Oh, a bathroom to be so clean. Yes. Ooh, that'd be lovely. A palace for you to poop in. <laughs> well, there's not much more to say about the lavender lemon martini that comes in a plastic little hip flask. Meredith, am I done? No, you've got to make, you got to make a cocktail out of some of all of this. All of it. Not all of it. You can pick and choose your ingredients. I got to make a cocktail now. I got to figure out actual uses for this stuff. I'll give you a base spirit. You have to tell me what it is. I'm allowed to bring in base spirits. Two most. All right, and we're gonna do that right after this. Well, I did a little, I did an oopsie, guys. I did a little oopsie. You see, here's the thing about the show. I have a microphone on my chest here, two of them actually, and they're plugged in. I'm not on a wireless. I like to be plugged in. There's a little less to go wrong that way. No batteries to check, no interference. And what happened was we took a little bathroom break there and we came back and forgot to plug Greg back in because Greg, He's an idiot. Uh, as Meredith said, I got bit by the cooler of doom. The doom cooler said meow. And it took a bite out of me and it screwed up my brain. We recorded about 40 minutes of show that we can't really use. The audio sounds like poop because it was recorded to a camera microphone that's over on that side of the room. That's not going out on YouTube. Uh, it might show up on Patreon though, if you check out the Patreon link appearing right here. However, Here's what we found out, and I can break this down for you very quickly. This stuff does not mix nearly as well as I thought it would. I was gonna make a sour with it. I even talked about that earlier in the episode. Ooh, lemon, this, whiskey. Tastes like curdled, disgusting nightmare milk. Now, the thing to do with that, two to one vodka, maybe one to one vodka with it. Shake it over ice, drink it over the same ice. Make a big fluffy, shooken thingy that's a little bit boozy. The vodka helps, it thins it out. The other thing, Meredith asked me for a gin dirty martini utilizing pickles. It was sort of a failure. It didn't go well. We made that and that's when I realized that I was unplugged. Meredith didn't like it, she poured it out. She asked me never to do that again. She scolded me. I feel shame. I went to the penalty box for five minutes. You know, and then you get free. So, but the question remains, Meredith says, that I've been kind of pussyfooting around this thing, using one little ingredient at a time. She wants to see me make a drink that uses these things. She says, that is how I will escape this episode. I thought I escaped this episode by failing to record sound and being very tired. But she said, no, Greg, we don't have an ending for the episode. We have to keep going until we have that or we got nothing, which is a wasted effort. And I said, fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck, let's do it. Um, what am I gonna make? Well, there's gotta be something here that I can make happen. But I need a big glass, Meredith. I'm gonna need a great big hurricane glass. There's one behind you. Is it clean enough? Oh no, that's a little Poco glass. We need a big hurricane glass. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. No, that's not it. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh yeah. 
There it is. Now that's a hurricane. We're gonna make a drink like no other drink the world has ever seen. Because frankly, I don't know what else to do. None of this stuff is any good. It's all just nightmarish hellscape stuff. And I don't want it. I don't want to drink it. I don't like it. I hate it. Here's where we're going to begin. We're going to start with Gary's good vodka. I'm going to start with one ounce of vodka. I have an idea. Secondly, I'm going to take some mango stuff. I'm going to cut this open in a weird way. Scissors will be better. And now I'm going to squeeze that into the there. Maybe not the whole thing, but quite a bit of it. Yeah, there we go. Vodka mango. We're just taking the, the mango and we're proofing it up. Let's get an idea of where we're at here. Chicka chow. Chicka 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 town. Delish. How do I want? Do I want that with? Do I want to do a van? No, probably not, but not bad together. It's kind of layers. Yeah, no, I like that. We're going to do. An ounce of Smirnoff ice. Normally I don't shake things that bubble, but what the hell? We're getting insane. Next, sex on the beach. We're gonna use that as a float. Now, buzzball pina colada. I think that's actually gonna be a nice combo. Ounce and a half, buzzball pina colada. Boom. What now, boys? We're gonna do this? Whoa, whoa, what kind of insane things are we getting up into here? Hold on now. Yeah, that's what we want. One ounce of this. Have we jumped the shark? Nah. <laughs> now I need ice. In. This is a chaos Muppet cocktail. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful stuff there. Now. You're gonna get a huge glass. You're gonna get a monster of a glass. And you've been shooting oh, kind of... Oh, 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 I know what I'm oh, doing. Oh, oh. I know what I'm doing. Oh, please be careful. Oh God. So, yeah, that's perfect. Now, because you've been doing this whole thing with this smoky cooler, you got all the dry ice around. Where's my twe Where's my tweezers? My giant tweezers, my tongs. You're gonna put some dry ice in there. I can't recommend this, you know, I think safety wise, this is a bad idea, but we're doing it anyway. This is all just, we've lost our minds, obviously. So now I wanna pour that, but I'm gonna do it with kind of a half gate, because there's only one big ice cube in there that I wanna strain out. The rest I wanna have in there. Is that gonna mix with your dry ice and possibly kill you? No. I mean, anything's possible, but. No, no. Now we're talking. That's how you do a mixology. <laughs> Next, we don't need any more tools. We're off the chain now. Next, I need a float of Sex on the Beach Bahama Mama. Both sides, not the whole thing, just a little, like half. That was actually the whole thing. And now make it blue. Didn't really work. Let that dry ice do its thing. Looks good, it's kind of curdling. It's staying in motion, so that's helping it. Uh, perhaps a straw? Oh. Straw might be more risky. I'm not really sure yeah. what the move is here. I think we gotta wait for it to stop. Delicious. Tastes like everything. I mean, it's not bad. Look, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. I'm gonna throw another ounce of vodka in it just to proof her up. The dry ice was perhaps a stupid move. Cause now I'm just stuck here waiting for this. Whoa, perfect smoke ring there. What do you think of that? Oh, you know what we can do? The julep strainer was originally intended to be used like this. You put it on a drink and drink your drink through it and that'll be great. Then I won't get the dry ice in my mouth. Here we go. This is, uh, I can only do this once. That's what I call this drink. It's a tangy, sweet, creamy mango, delicious vodka beverage. I mean, you could serve it to somebody, they'd like it. Honestly, it's not bad. You wanna try some? <laughs> well, you ask me if you're free. I feel like we need the genie shot of the shackles breaking. <laughs> Am I released from my prison, Meredith? <laughs> Have I done it? Be careful with it. Make sure you keep that on yeah, there when yeah, you yeah, sip. Yeah. I release you. It's remarkably good. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. Compared to the, like... The ingredients we started with? Well, and compared to the um, sour, the orange sour. That was terrible. <laughs> that was truly bad. Orders of magnitude better than that. It's kind of watermelony. It's a little mango-y. You can't quite put your finger on it. It's kind of fun. It definitely is the kind of thing that would come out of the cooler of doom. Yeah. We got a little off the rails here. I'm not really too sure what happened here, but... It's a new category. There's cursed cocktails and then there's doomed cocktails. Yeah. Doomer cocktails. Doomer juice. 
That's what I'm naming this cocktail, Doomer Juice. You get like this like apple-y note in there. Honestly, the apple mango thing, I don't know. It's growing on me. So I think we did it. There it is. Today's episode of HPD, the cooler of fucking doom. Thank you, Meredith, for this wonderful experience that I had with this cooler that you dredged out of a lake somewhere filled with all manners of horror. Will it recur on the show? It might. I don't really know. Let us know in the comments. But uh, until then, you can find me on Patreon, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And uh, I'll be on those places here appearing before your very eyes. And I've been making the show for six, seven years now, like forever. I've been doing this for a long time. So there's a big, big, big back catalog. Why don't you check out one of these four episodes that's appearing before your very, very eyes through YouTube magic. Thank you so much for watching. If you really, really like the show, please do, I guess, like and subscribe. I don't think it matters. But if you want to like and subscribe, hey, who's going to stop you? I will see you very soon with another episode of HGD, and I do hope you will be with us. Thank you so much, and uh, cheers. Good night, good luck, goodbye.